Hi, I'm Dr. Rahul Bhargav. I am a director of hematology, pediatric hematology, and bone marrow transplant at FMRI Gurgaon. Let's talk about sickle cell anemia. In today's world, sickle cell anemia, which was originated from Africa, affects both Middle East and India as well. From people like Chhattisgarh and Jharkhand has got sickle cell anemia. The peculiar problem with sickle cell anemia is that the red blood cells are not biconcave, but like sickle cell, and they get tend to get accumulated into the smaller veins, leading to infection into the lungs. Painful chest crises and hand crises generally can lead to a stroke, which means the bigger vessels in the brain gets clotted, and you can lose and have a paralysis. You can have a kidney problem. You can have a eye problem. You can have a chest infection. You can have a vessels getting clogged into the long bones, leading to avascular necrosis, leading to limping and shortening of stature. For this dreadful disease, the only way is the prevention. If you have not been able to prevent through an antenatal checkup clinics, the only treatment which remains is hydroxyurea, a oral tablet which has to be taken every day based on the weight of the patient at 15 mg per kg. I will repeat at 15, 15 milligram per kg body weight, the dose of hydroxyurea has to be taken to ameliorate the symptoms of painful crises like hand, hand pains, joint pains, lung pains, etc. If the patient is still symptomatic for all these problems which we have just enumerated, the patient still cannot lose hope. There is still a hope for these patients. The hope is the bone marrow transplant. For sickle cell anemia, Bone marrow transplant is extremely popular and a curative modality. The rates going up to 80 to 85 percent in people chosen less than seven years of age or younger age. If you can choose the patients early, the lesser the age, better the outcome, lesser the money, lesser the complications. So if you can choose the patient early or subject the patients early for bone marrow transplant, such patients can be cured. And as we know, not everybody will have a sibling match which is a special type of a matching called HLA matching. Only 30% people within the family will have a match. We can still go for a half match transplant. We only require 5 or 50% of a matching with brother, sister, mother or father. The response rates and the success rates, though slightly less, stands at 50 to 60% in such age groups of sickle cell anemia. So, we need to understand for sickle cell anemia, first of all, the baby should not be born through an antenatal checkups. If the baby is born, we need to screen them early, put them on hydroxyurea. If the hydroxyurea has not been able to reduce the pain crisis or reduce the symptoms, then the bone marrow transplant remains the treatment modality of choice, which can cure majority of patients. So, let not your children become sick or too late before we subject them for bone marrow transplant. Let's do bone marrow transplant early to give them a good quality of life and a better and a brighter future.